This is Tony of Tony's Music. I'm going to start you off with Toon Lee today because uh, I'm doing part three of the train scene tutorial and I'm going to start off with a new video called part three. Yep. So now what we need to do now is go to objects and I'm going to check see if I've got new scene on here. I should have by now. Um, if I haven't got it on I can always upload it yeah it's there look that's it there if I if I didn't have it I'd upload it use clicking on that bar there but oh, I've got it on already right so what I need to do now I've got that whole scene on which is uh, two actual scenes and uh, I'm just gonna whiz it down a little bit right not that much bring it back up a little bit there you go want it a reasonable size so that we can uh, deal with it properly right now I want to take it all the way to 12 seconds and I also want to take off the in effect and out effect to instant because otherwise with bounce you can't really do um, animation with bounce because it just doesn't look right to me anyway so I'd rather have the in effect as instant and then do the animation and it'll be all right right 12 seconds is a reasonable time for what we're trying to do and i'm going to start off with a left node of the camera I click on that and then i'm going to take it right down to about that height and that might be about right yeah that's about right that is almost perfect actually might need to take it just up slightly I want to be able to catch some of the sun on the next piece over there right so if we do that that should be okay but we obviously we ain't going to see none of this down here but we will see all the different um, items in the main part of the picture so that's what I want to do right so we're going to go to the other node which is on the 12 seconds and then we're going to change that right down as well uh -uh. to about there and then put that up there that should be roughly about the same as the one on the other side let's just click on the other side to just to see if we can check it oops didn't click on it right that looks looks about the same size doesn't it yeah it's the same size give or take the odd millimeter error there I mean you can't get much better than that to be honest um, right now, now we've done that we can preview it and have a look at it see how it looks there you go you can see all the characters different people in different places right and all the other things available right now that looks pretty good and it's at a good pace there as well and you can see the woman in the, in the van there as well good that's fine so now what we're going to do with that is we're going to save that or export it I should say really export it on 1080 and continue that shouldn't take about a few minutes while I've uh, got you on this moment I'm going to say um, the foreground scene of the carriages the, uh, the purple ones which I'm doing on this actual tutorial I'll put them as 70% opacity for the windows and I should have done 40% opacity um, that's why it took me so long to do it because I've had to uh, change them to 40% I have done it on the groups um, background pictures of the foreground of the you know, carriage so they'll be okay for you but um, 
you got to watch with the opacity sometimes if you got a darker color or a different color it might need more opacity for you to see through it properly uh, you just got to you know double with it a bit and uh, if you save the um, images as a you know as a, a blueprint as well it helps that way and that's what i do although i always do it so it makes it a lot easier for me to change the opacity and things like that or if i need to make little adjustments it's much quicker than having to start from a, a picture that's already fixed if a picture's fixed you have to cut everything out and redo it and everything so it, it takes about 10 times longer so i managed to do that pretty quick and my export is successful so let's continue continue with that and exit out and save it right now we're going to do straight on to cyberlink power director right we're going to import the media which was part three wasn't it we want oh, we want we want these scenes off here as well so being as it's come to these i'll put these scenes on first we want the train carriage three scene one png right so i'll save that open that to there then i want another one of them so i'll import another one so we'll we'll do the one on the right which is that one for totally right so them two, we've got them two scenes now we want to include the background pan scene which is on my desktop i think it ain't you know oh i know where it is i've saved it somewhere else haven't i i've saved it on videos i think yeah it is i found it right so what we need to do now we'll put that in there like that on the track one then we're going to put this next scene on track two there which is just a, a, a picture really in it so what i need to do is i need to edit that image by double clicking it and i'll come up like this in a little box of its own and i'm going to change the maintain aspect ratio because i don't want it to maintain the aspect ratio i want to pull it out like that, to there pull that down a bit because it's showing the road and it shouldn't be should be showing that right and i'm going to pull it that way i might just pull it up a little bit to cover that top bit there yeah i mean just make sure i'm right on that's it right now i need to do the same with the next bit right so i'll i'll just do that for now and i'm going to get the next one on I need to pull that to halfway actually and go on the first one pull it to halfway along there make it a bit longer and then this one's going to be longer as well but i need to also adjust that one to the same height as the other one right so there is a way to do it make it make sure it's dead on actually so which i could do that right so what i'll do i'll show you what i'm going to do i'm going to take that put it on number three underneath the other one right now i'm going to pull that across oh, actually i need to click that first right now i'm going to pull that across that way in a minute when i've done maintain aspect ratio take that off pull that across there pull it down there pull that across there and then slightly up right now if I take if I take off number one wait a minute just do that for now right now that should be the same height and everything and I'm going to put that back up there then now hopefully we won't get any bumps or anything when we split between them there's a slight difference look oh yeah I've missed something as well you see i've missed that in there but it doesn't matter i can do it though i'll do that then in a minute let's just start again there go back on that one that needs to go out a little bit more like that and that's okay there that's okay move that that way a little touch like that right that's fine 
do that right now this one let's go this is what we do we just keep on swinging back and forward just to make sure yeah that one needs to go in out a bit more right so I'm going to click on that one bring that out a bit more on that side as well right it's only minute movements but it can make a bit better of a difference really like that it's jumping a little touch isn't it it isn't a lot but I mean we can get you can get away with that for what it is that one's higher and this one's lower slightly so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do click on it and take it slightly up that's it try that that should be okay Oh, it's stretched. The second one's stretched out. So I need to go back on it and unstretch it a little bit. Oh, God. It's a bit of a nuisance, that is, to be honest. Oops. I've moved it all the ways now. Cool, oh, dear. Not doing very well today. Stretch it and take it down. Uh, put it down a little touch. That's it now, pull it up. Try that. Let's have a look, see what we're doing now. Ah, see. So that's just moving to the train, say. Don't look as if it's stretching much, it's just. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. You've got to check that sort of thing, you know. Right now, with this one, I'm going to go on to there and click on that, double click on that. Because I've got to move the back as well. So it's covered basically by the windows only. So I need to take the maintain aspect ratio off them. And put that about there. Then do the same down here. Put that there. That way you might be able to get all the, as much of the detail in as possible. Like that. And like that. There we go. Right, that should be okay. Now, when I play this, it'll come out really good now, hopefully. There you go. It's coming through. Oh, that looks pretty good. You can see people a bit, and the windows open there on that side now. That's pretty good, isn't it? For how long it takes, it's, it's, it's all right, really. So let's try that. Retry it, and let's just take it again. And that's come through. Yeah, you can't see much of the gel on there. It, it soon gets covered, don't I? Never mind, but I mean most of it you can see there's people in different places and different objects around. It looks more realistic, so that's how you do it anyway. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and please like and subscribe to Tony's Music. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye.